Can you die from peripheral neuropathy? You are watching a goodhealthtube.com production. You can find many useful videos on peripheral neuropathy in our neuropathy playlist. A link will be in the description. But for now, we will deal with the question of whether or not you can die from peripheral neuropathy. When we think of death from a medical condition, we can categorize the time of death as follows. An acute life-threatening illness that can kill you in seconds to minutes. Examples of these kinds of illnesses are heart attacks and ruptures of brain aneurysms. With these illnesses, people can literally drop dead and die in seconds to minutes. There are other illnesses that can cause someone to die in a matter of days to weeks. An untreated infection such as pneumonia, an infection in the lungs, or a wound infection in the skin can cause people to die in days to weeks if the illness is untreated and the infection spreads. There are other illnesses that can cause people to die within months to a year or two. Untreated cancer is an example of this kind of illness. If the cancer is not treated and is metastatic, spread to various parts of the body, a person may only have weeks to months to live. Then there are other illnesses that are associated with an earlier mortality but not necessarily for all people with that particular medical condition. Examples include people with diabetes or hypertension, elevated blood pressure. People with these conditions are known to have shorter lifespans than their counterparts without these conditions, but not everyone will necessarily die early. So where does peripheral neuropathy fall on the spectrum of a shortened lifespan? A study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine in February 2021 concluded that peripheral neuropathy was common and was independently associated with mortality in the U.S. population, even in the absence of diabetes. These findings suggest that decreased sensation in the foot may be an under-recognized risk factor for death in the general population. However, this conclusion is not cause for hopelessness, even though peripheral neuropathy can contribute to an earlier death. Mitigating strategies include checking your feet every day for wounds and signs of infection such as redness, swelling, and pain are of extreme importance. Caring for these wounds promptly and vigilantly can be life and limb saving. So in this case, the answer to the question of whether or not you can die from peripheral neuropathy is somewhat nuanced. Yes, you can die from peripheral neuropathy but only if the neuropathy is not diagnosed properly, mitigation strategies are not employed, and complications such as infection are not dealt with promptly. Can you die suddenly from peripheral neuropathy? The answer is yes but only with certain kinds of neuropathy. One such case is autonomic peripheral neuropathy which involved the autonomic nerves of the body. You can watch our other neuropathy videos in our neuropathy playlist to learn more about autonomic neuropathy. A link of which will be in the description. As we recall, autonomic neuropathy, usually associated with diabetic neuropathy, is damage or disease to the autonomic nerves that are associated with the regulation and control of certain involuntary bodily processes such as blood pressure control and heart rate. There are certain conditions where abnormal heart rates and rhythms can develop that can be immediately life-threatening causing one to literally drop. Fortunately, these are rare. Nevertheless, prompt evaluation by a healthcare professional is necessary to potentially avoid death. You may even need to see a cardiologist and have further cardiac testing or perhaps even a pacemaker. What is Guillain-Barre and how can it cause you to die? Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, is a rare immune disorder that affects peripheral nerves and causes paralysis and muscle weakness. It is believed to be caused by the immune system mistakenly attacking a portion of the nervous system. While there is no single known cause for GBS, there are a number of risk factors that may increase a person's likelihood of developing the disease. Infection appears to be the most common cause of GBS, with many cases occurring shortly after a bacterial or viral infection, such as Campylobacter jejuni, a bacteria that can cause diarrheal illness from eating undercooked poultry, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, or influenza. GBS can also occur after surgery or certain vaccinations in some individuals. Certain medications and diseases, such as systemic lupus erythematosus and HIV, AIDS, are also potential triggers. The incidence of Guillain-Barre syndrome is about 1 to 2 people per 100,000 in the United States. The syndrome involves progressive muscle weakness typically starting at the hands and feet and progressively moving upward. 
In extreme cases, the weakness can cause one to have difficulty breathing. This would require hospitalization in the intensive care unit to support breathing by ventilator until the syndrome subsides. Lack of this support would result in death. This can take several days to weeks, as long as two to four weeks, and most people fully recover. However, some people may be left with permanent weakness. Because of the potentially serious complications, people usually require hospitalization and extensive testing. The symptoms of Guillain-Barre syndrome also overlap with several other potentially life-threatening and potentially disabling illnesses. Peripheral neuropathy and dehydration. Autonomic peripheral neuropathy is neuropathy that affects the autonomic nerves. One of the functions that the autonomic nerves regulate is digestion, and in particular stomach motility. In diabetic gastroparesis, the inability of the stomach to move properly can cause nausea and vomiting which can subsequently lead to dehydration. This is unlikely to cause sudden death but it can lead to severe dehydration and eventual death if not treated. Furthermore, electrolyte abnormalities with one's potassium or magnesium can ultimately lead to abnormal cardiac rhythms and death also. To recap this video, peripheral neuropathy, with or without diabetes, is associated with a shortened lifespan, but one does not necessarily die early from peripheral neuropathy or one of its complications. While there are no guarantees in life, mitigating strategies can help. Sudden death can occur from cardiovascular autonomic neuropathy from abnormal cardiac rhythms, but this is rare. People with peripheral neuropathy are at risk for soft tissue infections, particularly in their feet. These can lead to loss of limb and life if there is a lack of vigilance and proactivity. Rare forms of autoimmune neuropathy such as Guillain-Barre syndrome can cause death at times with extreme muscle weakness but most people recover fully. And finally, diabetic gastroparesis, a form of autonomic neuropathy, are also at risk. Please note that this video is not meant to be all-inclusive but nevertheless hopefully somewhat helpful. If you are interested in learning more about neuropathy, check out our neuropathy playlist, a link of which will be in the description. And if you are interested in a particular enzymatic discovery that has the potential to change the way neuropathy and neuropathic pain can be approached, click on the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to be notified when more videos become available. This video is not a substitute for consulting a physician. It is not intended as medical advice. It is intended solely for educational and informative purposes. Always consult a healthcare professional before beginning a new health plan. You have been watching a production of GoodHealthTube.com. Thanks for watching.